11 Eyewitness News, live on ABC11.com, streaming on the ABC11 North Carolina app and Hulu Live. Welcome back. It's just a matter of days now before most students are back in the swing of their school routine. While supplies of new outfits are at the top of most lists, state health officials are reminding families of something they say is just as important. We're talking about the COVID-19 vaccine and the state's no before you go campaign. Joining us this morning from the State Department of Health and Human Services is Chief Health Equity Officer Deborah Farrington. Good morning. Good morning. Well, Ms. Farrington, what is the purpose of the No Before You Go campaign? The No Before You Go campaign's purpose is to make sure that the state continues our public outreach and engagement strategies to um, ultimately prevent severe illness, hospitalizations, and death related to COVID-19. We're encouraging people to get safe and effective free vaccines and boosters. And this is a reminder to North Carolinians as children return to school that this is an opportunity to stay up to date with your vaccines and boosters. And it also reminds people of their rights to COVID testing and treatment um, with or without ID or with or without insurance. And why is the timing of this campaign so important? The timing is important because um, as children start to return to school for the state 2022-2023 school year. This is a time when we'll obviously start to have more activities that are happening in the fall. Um, there are more gatherings, more sports events and holidays. And as the months get uh, colder, people spend more time inside together um, with crowds. And uh, it's an also a time for people to remember that uh, COVID-19 is still prevalent in our community and vaccines and boosters are safe and effective way uh, to prevent severe illness and hospitalization. Well, with coronavirus resources scaling back, what are some of the best ways parents can navigate access to vaccinations, boosters and testing throughout the school year? So certainly parents can speak with their primary care providers. They can get access uh, to information from pediatricians. Children who are three years and older can get the COVID vaccine at pharmacies, grocery stores, doctor's offices, or local health departments. Uh, children who are under three need to go to their doctor's office or a local health center. Um, and remember that most children who are five and older should also get a COVID-19 boosters. And we know parents will soon be taking children for regular checkups. This is a great time for them to um, get information from their physicians. Also, though, parents and guardians who do not have an established health care provider um, but want to get their children vaccine, they can get information at myspot.nc.gov to search for a nearby vaccine provider. They can reach out to the local health department, and certainly they can call the state's vaccine help center, 1-888-675-4567. All right, all very important information as kids get back to get back to school in just a couple of weeks. Deborah Farrington, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Have a wonderful day.